You know, I have spent so much time in the jungles in India, you must see a tiger, how alert he is, how alert he is. Because if he's not alert, he's not going to get food, he's going to die of starvation. He's got to be super alert to earn his food. Most people think tigers can kill what they want, no. It's very, very difficult for him to get his prey because Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girlfriend Elon. And we are Funny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. And before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. You are the real estate rookie, man. And you actually are really important to, to you know, to, to our channel because you keep us going. And for, uh, when, you, when you give us reactions, you keep us going and keep us moving because I think that's really important. I feel personally, I feel like it's really good when somebody gives you a reaction to react to. Okay, but again, it becomes so tiresome when you have so much, sometimes it gets so frustrating. But anyway, we're gonna be that frustration and we're gonna finish all the reactions that you guys have been giving us. If you want to give us a reaction, just go down in the comment section below. Just let us know what kind of reaction you want us to do, we're gonna do it for you, and also. We do any kind of reaction, just any kind of reaction, we're gonna do it for you. And also, we have another channel that is called Funny and Jesse 2.0. If you wanna see our live, what we go through and what not, just let, just go on that channel and subscribe to it. And, we, we, and we're gonna promise you that you will enjoy the vlogs and whatnot and everything. And if you have any suggestions on what you want us to do, we're gonna do it for you. We have different uh, life and stuff like that. I mean, he has a different career, I have a different career. Sorry, she has a different career and I have a different career. She's a, what, a very good writer. She's really amazing at what she does. I'm a very good photographer. We're going to put our links over here where you can just go and check our, our Instagram and see exactly what we do. And yeah, I mean, feel free to just engage with us and we can be able to, to you know, talk to you guys and be part of you and you be part of us. Anyway. So now we're gonna do another reaction. This one right here was suggested by again a lot of people, and this suggests that we should go react to why are we not naturally enlightened? This is from Sangu. Anyway, guys, without any further ado, let's get it. Does he have a wife? Most humans on the planet, how conscious are they? In today's world? Yeah, in Los Angeles. You, you spend time here. Let's take the whole world. I don't want to make a judgment on Los Angeles. <laughs> in the whole world, it's a, unfortunately a very minuscule percentage, minuscule. Why is this so? Why is it people are not conscious? The fundamental reason is they have taken themselves too seriously. They don't understand that they're just a pop-up on the planet. They'll pop up and pop out, but big fuss about that. What is me has become too important. What is me means my physical form is me, essentially, isn't it? So, once my limitations become very important, there is no way to be conscious. You… you're just becoming self-defeating in the process, it doesn't matter how hard you try. The only and only reason why the entire world is not na naturally enlightened is they're dead serious about their lives. They've not come to ease with their life, it's too serious about it. See, uh, I mean you've just been through an engineering online process. If you take the very solar system, in this cosmos, the solar system is a tiny speck. In that speck, planet Earth is a micro speck. In that micro speck, Los Angeles is a super micro speck. In that, you are a big man. This is a serious problem, it's not a small problem. <laughs> so once you create this problem, then you cannot be conscious.
you can only be mentally alert because it's all about survival. The more mentally alert you become, more you tend to become like a carnivorous animal. You know, a carnivorous animal is very mentally alert because every day he has to hunt his food. You know, I have spent so much time in the jungles in India, you may see a tiger, how alert he is, how alert he is. Because if he's not alert, he's not going to get food, he's going to die of starvation. He's got to be super alert to earn his food. Most people think tigers can kill what they want. No, it's very, very difficult for him to get his prey because all the herbivorous animals are faster than him and they sweat in the body so they can run longer. He can only do one burst. In that burst he must catch, otherwise he gets hot, his body gets too hot, he cannot go. He just sits there helplessly because his body gets overheated. You must watch this whole game, how it goes on. How frustrated he is that he can't get his food, he knows his energy levels are going down and uh, as time passes by, he will become more incapable of getting his food. You should see the anxiety on his face. So he is super alert. This is the nature of a carnivorous animal. Once your alertness, mental alertness goes that way, you become like a predator, always looking what you can get, what you can get, what you can get. It may be in whatever levels of life that people are involved in, but all the time they're trying to grab something because mental alertness creates that. I'm not saying you should not be alert, but if you're conscious and alert, then it works in a different way. But if you just ramp up your mental alertness, you will become like a hunter all the time, waiting, crouching for something. And do you… if I heard you correctly, Many people who are pursuing consciousness end up just becoming more mentally alert. And so, how does one strive to have more consciousness, but if it's not something you can work at or work towards, what is the path? See, the very question when you say to pursue consciousness, how will you pursue consciousness? Or I guess a higher consciousness. In which, in which direction will you pursue? I think in… in because you are consciousness, isn't it? Where is the need to pursue this? See, we can pursue certain levels of competence in the world. See, we can pursue a skill. We can pursue certain levels of competence in the world which will make us a little better with whatever we are doing. But you cannot pursue consciousness. This has to come to ease then only it will become conscious. When it becomes very alert, it becomes like an animal. So, becoming an animal means it's not that something wrong, but in the evolutionary scale of things, you're going backwards. See, the most significant aspect of being human is this, that you can determine the nature, the scope and the pace of your evolution, unlike any other creature. This is the most important aspect of being human that you can determine the nature, scope and the pace of your own evolution, which no other creature can determine. For them, nature pushes them at whatever pace it pushes them. That's what yoga means, tools of transformation, so that you can hasten your evolutionary process. Just like he said, I mean, we are too serious with life, <laughs> we're very serious with life, like we are too a lot. When this thing is done, we need, we're thinking of the next one, you get it? It's just like, we don't have time for ourselves, we don't have time to think, think critical about life and something like that. We only want to, it's like a survival for the fetus and you think that if I don't, if I don't do this, somebody else is gonna do it. So I mean, that's the motivation right there. You get it? like I have to, I have to do it. I have to go in there and do it. If I don't ex execute it, just like when somebody, if I have a opinion, I was I was listening to a podcast the other day, like um, 
if I have one billion dollar, sorry, one billion dollar idea in my head, count yourself up. Like that's not, I mean, you, you, that's not even an idea already, you get it. But if I can be able to execute that one billion idea, then you've achieved something. So having an idea doesn't mean that you, you already have it. You already made it in life. There are thousands of people just like you who have the same idea. So it just, it's just, it's just a, a, a flick of a second. Just somebody else is going to come out with the same idea. And then when you see that idea out there, you're going to be like, but that was my idea. Like, how, how is that possible? So, I mean, what he was trying to say is that, yeah, we shouldn't be that alert, but he, he also says, you know what, being alert is not a bad thing, but if we are too alert, we lack the meaning of, we lack, uh, there's some little uh, fraction of, of us giving limitation to us ourselves, you get it? Because if you're too alert, then you, you wouldn't be, you'll be too serious about yourself, you'll be too serious about the worldly things, and you wouldn't be able even to go out there and think for yourself. Go out there, find who you are, and try to find enlightenment and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't think he meant any. Anyway, I agree with whatever he's saying and what he said. Mm -hmm. He said to me, I feel like he meant if you're too alert, you mm -hmm. become programmed. Oh yeah, true, true, true. If I don't. Um, Perhaps, let me give an example. If I don't get an A in this exam, I'll disappoint my parents. Mm -hmm. If I don't read too much, probably I'm going to fail. No, when that happens. Mm -hmm. That happens. So you have to be smart. Mm -hmm. no, in class, you have to be smart. You lat. have to be smart. No, mm -hmm. that's why you balance. If you yeah. know you're going to for an exam, if you don't study, mm -hmm. do what you have to do. He's not saying don't. Yeah. Don't get him wrong. There's also the theme of being too serious. That's why I like the fact that I like people that add humor to their teachings. Yeah, very Even important. when you go to class, if a teacher is too serious, a lecturer is too serious, sometimes they become boring. They're of like, course, oh, of course. I don't even want to go to that lecture. I'll go the second hour just to sign attendance or something. In life, you have to enjoy yourself every you have to play. time. You even have if there's the bad in life, mm -hmm. try as much to see the good in it. Find yeah, a yeah, reason yeah, to yeah, smile. Sure. Just be happy. Yeah, sure. Anyway, guys, if you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, then give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about um, the video that you just reacted to. Why are we not naturally enlightened? Just let us know in the comment section below, and we're gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna below and we're gonna make sure that we look at it and we make sure that we're gonna reply on your comments and stuff like that just make sure to comment and just let us know what you think about the reaction and also the most and the, the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out <music>